as soon as the Taliban took over uh, in Afghanistan uh, in August last year, uh, we initiated a program of, on the one hand, helping people who were really in danger to leave Afghanistan, in particular from the academic community, those who were closely working together with the international community, with non-governmental organizations, women in particular, female judges, those in high positions and were under threat by the Taliban. So to help them to leave the country, but then we were reaching out to all our universities, we have about 100 universities in the global campus, whether they would be able and willing to host students, teachers, researchers and provide them a safe space in their universities. And then we reached out to the European Union for financial support. It was all very unbureaucratic and I'm extremely grateful to all the different stakeholders, including Right Livelihood, which also provided funds uh, and other private foundations, so that we could already now host more than 100 um, both scholars, students, their relatives, their children um, in so many different universities, in particular also uh, in Central and Eastern Europe, for instance in Romania, uh, in Poland, uh, but of course also in Germany, in Italy, both Kafoskari and Padua, our two universities are taking um, students and scholars, Bologna. Uh, so it is a big solidarity the main problem was to get a visa for people to get them from Afghanistan to Europe or if they were living already in Pakistan to get them here. Uh, but also there we were supported by many different organizations. So I think it's a very important program because we feel as a global network of human rights related universities we have a particular responsibility. A responsibility not just to do research, teaching and training, no. We have to work as human rights defenders and Afghanistan is a very good example where we started a program but it should be expanded and currently we have this tragic situation in the Ukraine and we will also expand the program so that we will assist students, graduates who are now in the Ukraine to come out of the country and also to find a safe space in a European university.